What's poppin' gang? It's your girl Tiana. Whoa, and I am back with another video. So as you guys can see with the title, this is a different video for my channel. This is a video about ending HIV. And if you guys are interested in this video and you guys want to know more, um, then just keep on watching. Okay, so um, I kind of talked about um, kind of my career in my last one of my recent videos. But um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm just going to start from the beginning and just kind of get you guys up to date on everything on why I'm making this video. So I am currently an HIV program specialist. So what that means is I am a person who goes out in the community and looks for people who are living with HIV and getting them into care and just you know trying to make sure that they are living a healthy life while living with HIV which is very possible with the work that has been done over the years and the medication and the information that we have now and just to kind of give you guys a little background on why I chose to be a part of a program or an initiative such as HIV is because my aunt actually passed away from AIDS and because of that and being a public health major I knew that this is something that I want to do and I want to fight for and I just want to let people know that anybody can be affected by HIV and it's not simply it doesn't discriminate who is affected and who can get HIV it's not about that it's about coming together and understanding that we all can be in the fight against HIV and not people who we assume should only be fighting for HIV or feeling like you should you're excluded from getting HIV because you're not no one's excluded from contracting HIV it's just not a thing <laughs> and then the other thing is like you know I'm here to end the stigma against HIV I am aware that is there there's a big stigma against HIV meaning that people don't want to talk about people people don't want to talk about HIV people don't want to be around people who have HIV people don't want to whatever like even think about HIV none of that well I'm here to squash all of that we talking because that's what needs to be done and we have to talk about it because we are near ending HIV and this is a national thing that has been discussed as far as ending HIV the goal is to end HIV by 2020 you know and that's fine people are catching on board 2020 is next year but we can continue to push that initiative of ending HIV and we are near that and I just want to kind of let you guys know on how we can do that and how you can play a role or anybody else you know who wants to be a part of this fight against HIV the biggest thing that I want to say is inform yourself on HIV go on the CDC website go on HIV.org and look for yourself on what is HIV don't listen to what other people have to say and what it is go find the information for yourself because then you are informed on your own and you will have accurate information that is all I want to say before I start anything because that kind of reduces judgment and just stigma and you have found information on your own. Another thing that's important is to acknowledge how far we have come over the years when it comes to HIV. Nowadays people are living longer with HIV. They are not dying at the rates that they were dying before. Actually, to be honest, people who are living with HIV are actually living approximately two more years than people who do not have HIV 
because they're in care, they're living healthier lives, they're they're on medication, you know, it's just it's great. It's a beautiful thing, especially knowing someone who did not get to win their fight against HIV and which led to AIDS. So the next thing is talk about it. Simple as that. We need to talk about HIV. One, we need to talk about HIV, period. And then we also need to talk about HIV in the black community. I don't care who y'all know, what y'all know, none of that. Who your mama is, what your grandma, like your religion, sexuality, age, career, <laughs> all of that. Talk about HIV. Everything, no matter what, everything can only go full circle if you are connected with wellness and have living a healthy life. So that's why it is important to talk about HIV no matter what. You know, because we all want to live a healthy life. Who doesn't want to live a healthy life? If you don't want to live a healthy life, I don't really understand. And I'm not saying this to say that if you are living with HIV, you don't live a healthy life because that's not true. Because you can live a healthy life living with HIV. That's the whole thing, living with HIV. So there are two medications that I want to talk about that help reduce the risk of getting HIV, and that is PrEP and PEP. Um, I'll talk about PEP first because PEP is post-exposure prophylaxis, which is a pill that is taken within a 72-hour time period of if you feel like you have been exposed to HIV so to kind of lighten it up it's kind of like a plan B of HIV so it's like if you feel like you got pregnant and you was able to meet you know same thing if you feel like you have been exposed to HIV then you would take PEP and then there the second medication is PrEP which is pre-exposure prophylaxis also a medication that's commonly known or you might see on television is Trivada and this is a medication and it's a pill that a, a person who feels like they are at risk of contracting or getting HIV would take every day so it's like I wouldn't say a birth control pill but it is a pill you take every single day so um, and this just reduces a person's risk of getting HIV if they feel they are at risk of getting HIV um, so those are just two important medications that I want to talk about in regards to reducing 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 your risk of getting HIV if you know you are at risk of getting HIV uh, another important thing I want to say is make sure you are getting tested and at least every new partner that's what is recommended because you just never know and that's not just for hiv that's for all stis and i'll also say you know you want to get tested because you want to know your status and then knowing your status lets you know what you need to be doing if you are if you do test positive for HIV. Also to remember to practice safe sex, using condoms, using dental dams, or being in a monogamous, relation, monogamous relationship, whatever the case may be, making sure that you're practicing safe sex. And I do wanna mention that, you know, condoms do expire. So make sure you're checking the condom, making sure that the condom is untouched meaning it's not open it's not damaged if you're using condoms there are also inserted condoms that you can use um as well so definitely look for information on how to have safe sex and what proper tools you can use to practice safe sex so there are initiatives to help end the fight against HIV. One major initiative that has been recognized nationally and I know here in Las Vegas is 909090. And 909090 is pretty much getting 90% of the population 
tested for HIV, 90% of those living with HIV tested, and then getting 90% of those tested who are positive on medication, and then once 90% of them are medication, getting 90% of them virally suppressed. So if you do not understand what being virally suppressed is, being virally suppressed means that they have an undetectable viral load, which means that they are that they cannot transmit the virus so that kind of leads me into u equals u which is a campaign that is also recognized nationally or is a campaign that's been going on for at least 15 years and that is me u equals u which is undetectable equals untransmittable meaning if you are undetectable having an undetectable viral load that you are untransmittable meaning you cannot transmit hiv and this is an important topic and campaign because this lets us know that there is you know there is a way to end hiv by getting people into care letting them know that they're virally suppressed getting them on medication and letting them know that they get virally suppressed that they can be um untransmittable so that's like amazing that's a beautiful thing if you ask me <laughs> so yes and then also be aware of awareness days where you can be an advocate and be an ally to those living with hiv and those are world aids day which is december 1st of every year and that's nationally and then there's also um, national days that recognize awareness for certain races so I know in the black community there is national black HIV AIDS awareness day which is February 7th here in Las Vegas we are recognizing that day on February 9th and this is just a day of awareness for the black community to you know be informed on what's going on in the community getting tested getting information on hiv becoming community who is reducing the stigma and being there for those who are living with hiv and that kind of wraps up everything i have to say so with me saying all of this i want you to ask yourself how can you help and HIV what can you do to end HIV because the fight to end HIV includes all of us and I just want to reiterate that we need to talk about it we need to be about it and we need to get out in our communities and you know we need to help with this fight like it takes it just takes all of us and like I said HIV does not discriminate and knowing that it's near that it's in you know it's near an end and we can reach the end just lets me know that we have the ability to end hiv and we should fight and be a part of that fight no matter what so that's all i have to say um if you guys have any questions <laughs> please feel free to ask and yeah like i always say don't forget to like if you guys like it don't forget to comment if you guys want to comment and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and i'll see you all in my next video